A few days ago, a friend of mine told me that his local golf club was trying to sign up some new members. My friend knew I liked golf and he thought I might be interested in joining. Apparently, club numbers had been dwindling and there was a discount deal on offer. The club had halved the cost of membership. The only catch, my friend said, was that the golf course was looking a little decrepit. In what way? I asked him. Well, he replied, the greens are a complete mess. The fairways are overgrown and the rough is not just rough anymore. You need a safari hat and a rifle just to get through the first hole. I laughed at his analogy to jungle terrain. I'm not kidding, he said. The course is a disaster. So why should I join, I asked him. Well, my friend said to me, sometimes you look bored and tired as though your life has no meaning. Golf might be a nice escape for you. Whether or not that was true, I visited the golf club the following day. When I arrived at the golf club, the receptionist greeted me with a friendly smile. I'm thinking of joining your club, I said. Well, that's great news, the receptionist said. Membership is on special, it's half price. I asked the receptionist if I might take a look around the course before I made my decision. The receptionist allowed me the free use of a golf buggy, so I drove it to the first hole. After several holes, I realized several things. Firstly, my friend had not been lying. The course was in a state of complete disrepair. The greens were full of holes and they were covered in leaves and sticks. Instead of being smooth and neat, the fairways were a tangled mess of long grass, weeds and blossoming flowers. And I won't even tell you what I found in the rough. But I can say I did see abundant litter, including some empty milk cartons, used condoms, drug paraphernalia, a broken radio set and a pool of discoloured liquid, which could possibly have been medical waste. I returned to the clubhouse. On the way I passed a greenskeeper. I asked him if he was having a productive day. He told me to fuck off. When I arrived back at the clubhouse, the receptionist asked me what I had decided to do about membership. I must admit, I said, your golf course has strange parallels to the children's book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. To play your course is a commitment to absurdity. And incidentally, in regards to your greens, I could putt with your obstacles on a busy construction site. You get a free tea if you join today, the receptionist said to me. I'm sorry, I'll have to pass on your generous offer, I said. Maybe another time. At that moment, the greenskeeper walked into the clubhouse and approached the receptionist. I'm quitting, he said. If they can't even pay me, it's not worth the effort anymore. The receptionist nodded. I'm only giving this one more week, she said. If nothing changes, I'm getting out as well. I had a question on my mind. Why is the golf course in such a bad state to begin with, I asked. I'll tell you if you want to know, the receptionist said. The manager of the course departed for the Maldives two months ago. We haven't seen him since. And strangely, the greenskeeper said, after the manager left, the club suddenly ran out of money. Neither of us has seen a cent since he left. Now, we're technically the only ones still on the books. When will the manager be back, I asked. Probably never, the greenskeeper said. I mean, who would give up a blissful life in a luxurious utopia to come back to this shit? Well, it's just a pity, the receptionist said, that the manager funded his trip using the club's financial savings. If he'd left some behind, the course might still be in good condition. I thanked the receptionist and the greenskeeper for allowing me to view the golf course. If you ever change your mind, the receptionist said, give us a call. We can work out a deal for you. I thanked them both again and I went home. I called up my friend. I informed him that the golf club was bankrupt thanks to the manager. Is he back from the Maldives yet? My friend asked. I don't believe so, I said. Yesterday, I heard the golf club had closed pending an investigation into fraud and embezzlement. The investigators said they were hopeful of extraditing the manager of the club from his island resort. The whole debacle made me glad I had not handed over the fees for club membership. I know the money would only have paid for a lobster dinner in the Maldives.